Hello, I'm Noah, and I'm a senior at West Henderson High School. It is extremely difficult for me to come up with a solid decision whenever I feel I must make one in my life, such as when I was deciding on where I would be headed to college, who I felt I could trust in my life, and I generally lacked this feeling of an overall purpose. But now that I have matured, I have been better able to understand what that overarching purpose is. I want to help others succeed. I want to give people the same opportunities that I've received. Since entering Grace Lutheran's pre-K program nearly 15 years ago, I've been surrounded by people that want to invest in me and see me grow as a person. I want to provide those same opportunities to people who don't, who don't have the same privilege that I do. It has been meaningful to me that the congregation has been more than willing to reach out to me and others to help contribute and get to know members of the congregation better. I have this sense of belonging and that I'm a part of a community, although I am a lot younger and without as much experience. And it's that connection to a community that makes me feel comfortable participating in service activities, especially with all of the excellent projects that I've been able to work in with my friends that I've grown with in Grace Youth Ministry. Serving in Houston three years ago allowed me to connect with the community after they were devastated by Hurricane Harvey. And working with the tech team on Sunday mornings helped me appreciate just how much work goes into the virtual services every week. And I can't thank you, I cannot thank them enough for letting me join them. I feel as if every contribution I create can go a long way and could potentially lead to inspiring those around me to do the same. And it's always possible to grow. And that is one of the biggest lessons I have learned growing up in Grace. And during what may be one of the most tumultuous years in modern day history, I have been able to fully realize the true impact of having the room and encouragement to grow and what that can do for a person. During 2020, there was not as much space for me to grow as I once had in previous years. I restricted myself to my house and I studied online in order to curb one of the worst pandemics in a very long time. It has been utter chaos, yet it has taught me that I still have a lot of room to grow. I can take this situation and find a way to better those around me who have been struggling with the pandemic. However long this pandemic continues for, that's exactly what I'll keep doing, focusing less on my personal desires and focusing more on the growth of others around me. In much of the same way that verse in Micah 6 a teaches us to act justly and love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. It has been an important lesson to learn, but if it were not for the Grace Congregation, I would have never realized the true impact everyone had on me. Thank you all for teaching me how to serve and giving me space, encouragement, and grace to grow. Hi, I'm Nelson, and I'm a senior at Henderson Mill High School. Even in my wildest dreams, I would have never imagined a senior year like this. Everything has been flipped upside down without warning. I have learned some of the best and hardest lessons this year, and Grace Youth Ministry has been with me every step of the way. I remember my freshman year when I was getting confirmed here. I remember all the pomp and circumstance for that Reformation Sunday. I also remember being really proud of the fact that I had memorized my memory verse before everyone else in my confirmation group. My memory verse was Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. And strangely enough, it seems like many of the lessons I have learned this year have led me back to that verse. When school had first switched to all virtual learning, I started to struggle a lot. I am typically the type of student that has everything turned in early and even did the extra credit. With virtual school, I had countless missing assignments and I could barely bring myself to open up my computer every day. My anxiety had reached an all-time high. I was lost and I didn't know what to do. Because I was so lost, my mom created a starting point for me. We decided that every day we would go for a walk around the neighborhood with our dog Johnny Cash and that I would make sure that I went to every gym Zoom. 
our Gym Zoom candle times were a time for us to reflect on devotionals together and catch up with each other. I needed that time to do something just because it was good for me and not because it was someone else's expectation. I needed that time to do something that made my heart happy. The weekly gym Zooms were just what I needed. I needed that time to talk with some of my closest friends and reflect without going into a spiral of worry. I needed that time to have a Zoom that didn't assign me additional homework. After taking this little bit of time every day to do something just because it made my heart happy, I realized that it was easier to finish some of my work. Even though virtual school was still really hard, it was slightly less daunting. I started doing more things that made my heart happy. I hung up pictures of me and my friends around my room. I started reading books that just sounded fun. Once my heart was a little happier, I even realized that it was easier for, to be there for everyone else around me. It was easier to help my parents around the house with different things. It was easier to reach out to my friends more. It all just kept reminding me of my memory verse, Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. I could not be there for others if I wasn't there for myself. The weekly gym Zoom was a very important step for me while learning that lesson. Not only has Grace Church been there for me during that lesson, y'all have been with me through everything. For that, I want to thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for all the fun memories. I remember being so nervous to go on my first service learning trip with Jim to Washington, D.C. I didn't know if I was going to fit in with the rest of the high schoolers, but I was welcomed with open arms. I want to thank y'all for always challenging me to be my best, and I also want to thank y'all for helping me grow in my faith. Without that, I don't know where I'd be today. Y'all have always made my heart happy. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jake and I'm a senior at Hendersonville High School. Whether you're watching here in person or virtually on your uh, computer, phone, or tablet, I just want to start by saying thank you for all of your support. Even just turning on our live stream worship means the world to me and the rest of our youth group because it shows that even as teenagers, we're valued members of this church. That's what Grace has been throughout my life, a place where I felt valued and respected, a place where I am heard, and a place where I can grow. Over the six years I've been in the Grace Youth Ministry, Grace has not been a place for me to just sing songs and say some prayers, although unfortunately for everyone, my voice has sung a lot of songs. My time at Grace has taught me to consistently challenge my belief system and learn as much as I can regarding my faith and life in general. From the first days of confirmation classes in the sixth grade, I've always been asked to think critically, to go deeper on issues that I find important. I've never had a question that has received a simple yes or no answer, even when I asked if Jesus and Mary Magdalene were romantically involved. <laughs> to get a straight answer from Pastor Ken meant a lot to a clueless seventh grader. I've learned so much about how to tackle the hard questions within my faith journey and within my life because grace has been something more than a song and a prayer. Grace Lutheran has not been a place where service is just a smiling picture. Quite frankly, service was hard here at Grace. On our aptly named service learning trips, I spent time in Houston painting metal fences and in Oklahoma replacing siding on a disabled woman's home while drinking warm, dirty water. I want to take a moment to thank Adrian Clark for that. Adrian has served alongside us as an adult guide and likes to pull a good prank every now and then. I've also had the chance to serve at Living Waters Lutheran Church in Cherokee, North Carolina at their food pantry and experience uh, part of what they experience each day. Throughout the consistent emphasis on service, I learned that there are things greater than my own comfort. There are things God requires us to do, not because it'll make us feel good when posting a picture on Instagram, but because they'll teach us to be grateful for what we have in our own lives. God has called me to greater action through the experiences here in Western North Carolina and across the nation, to help others whenever and wherever. It's hard work, but grace has taught me that it must be done. No matter where I go, I want to be in a position where I can serve others and do what's best for as many people as possible. It's crucial to me that I lead a life of service and that I give my all to carry out God's will. I can thank Grace for establishing that mindset for me. Finally, Grace has not been a place for superficial relationships. I find that people tru truly care for me as an individual and they cheer me on from afar. 
Grace has allowed me to develop lifelong relationships with my fellow students and people who were students 50 years ago, like Mr. Hal Derrick and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Klug, although they wanted me to say that they were students just 20 years ago, so we'll go with that. <laughs> the church community has invested in my success and has brought me great joy and happiness. They have given me ways to learn about what meaningful service truly is and how deep our relationships with God can get. One of the most important relationships I've developed through Grace is with Ron Brandon. Uh, Y'all might remember uh, the Brandons. They moved from Hendersonville a few years ago, but I've still kept in touch with him and his wife, Joyce. Mr. Brandon was my confirmation mentor and taught me values that I still hold today, like my emphasis on fiscal responsibility and on setting up opportunities to serve whenever possible. Without grace, my relationship with Mr. Brandon and the important lessons that I learned would have never happened. The value grace places on cross-generational interactions truly separates it from other churches and has provided a profound positive impact on my development as a teenager. Grace Lutheran Church has been a place for me to grow and develop my faith. It's been a place for me to learn from the best and connect with many others who have a true stake in my faith, li faith life and my future. It's been a place for me to be me, I love this church, and I am forever grateful for the tremendous opportunities I've been given by it so far, and the tremendous opportunities that I know will spring up in the future. I can't wait to see what's in store. Thank you.